finally here. Today we're going to be cutting pizza. I wonder whether I should use up cut or down cut. This video is sponsored by Masso, makers of the Masso CNC controller. Eight hardware and software package to run your machine with no PC required. Hello fellow CNC nuts. And welcome. Today's video is inspired by last week's project where I made this wooden base for my bedside table light. And it all stems from the fact that the finished project here pretty much looks identical to the simulation on the screen there. That's one of the things I love about Vetrix software. The fact that you can see what the project is going to look like even before going out to the workshop and picking up a piece of wooden machining it. Now this has prompted one of my viewers to ask a question. Jim Hester writes, I've been wondering if it's possible to import backgrounds of different wood types. For example, I'm doing a lot of work with fence board cedar. And there isn't a close wood selection in the software. Also, it'd be nice to be able to rotate the wood grain direction in the software. Well, the good news is, yes, it is really easy to create your own wood types. And no, you can't rotate the wood grain direction in the software. But fortunately, I've got a workaround for that. So let's jump into it. I've got a couple of New Zealand native timbers that I would like to add because, of course, they don't come standard with Vetrix software. The first step is to take a photo of them. For that, I'll be using my cell phone. Everyone's got one. And they take really good pictures. Now, it's important I take the photo from above, not from an angle, not from the side. You want it looking straight down on it. Excellent. Now, I've got some other wood here. So here I have a nice piece of board. You can see the reflection on it down here from the lights above. And this here, if memory serves correct, is actually cowrie. It's a board you basically can't go out and buy this stuff anymore. It's uh, recycled off an old uh, table top. So I'm going to take a photo of this as well. It has a very nice grain and colour to it. So now that I've got my photos, I've brought them inside and uploaded them to my PC. And here's the first one I've got here, which is my piece of Remu. And I haven't had to alter this at all. I've just opened it up in a basic photo editing software here. But because I took the section of wood that I, a photo of the section of wood I wanted, I don't need to edit it at all. I've renamed this here to Remu H, H being horizontal because my grain is going horizontal here. And then I rotated the photo so that now it's got a vertical grain and I've renamed that to Remu V, V being for vertical. Next, I've got my photo of my piece of cowrie and uh, it's got quite a bit of reflection on it, but that I think will be okay might actually help show off what the final uh, model is when you use it in a project. And of course, we mustn't forget my pizza. Okay, so now that with these photos here, I've got them all organized in a folder here. And uh, I'll just first of all select my three pieces of wood here and go Control C to copy them and now I'm going to come into Vectric Aspire. Now in Aspire I need to go File, Open Application Data Folder and there it is there. And I'm looking for this particular folder here which is Bitmap Textures. Double click on that and it gives me wood, metal, stone and miscellaneous as well as a text file. I'm going to go into the wood one and you can see here my wooden bits of different stock that we have already built in. I'm going to come down here and go Control V and it will copy my three new stocks into 
the software. So we'll just go back a bit here and this time I'm going to go into the miscellaneous and this is where I want to put my pizza. So I'll just quickly go back to the file and I see I haven't renamed this one here so I'll just call it pizza and we want to have the photos as JPEGs here. Just go control C back into our texture file here and go control V. Right, well, we can now close this here, this, and now we're back at uh, Vetric Aspire. For those of you using older versions of Vetric software, you can still add your own stock images. The major difference is you don't have the open application data folder key. What you need to do is you need to navigate to the C drive, then program files x86, then scroll down until you find your Vectric software, in this case I found Cut3D, and here's a folder called Textures. If I look in here, I see Materials, and here are why Wood and other materials. Now if I look further down the program files x86 I will find photo vcarve. Go into there again we have another textures folder and here we have a similar folder layout to what we saw in Aspire. You can open any of them and add your materials. Now the one thing we do need to do is we need to restart it otherwise it won't work. So now that I've reopened Aspire and I've loaded up last week's project of the bedside lamp base. And there it is in the original dark wood that I did the model in. Next I come over here and I'm going to select Cowrie, which now appears in the list. And here's what it would look like if it was made out of cowrie. You can see the grain of the material. Likewise, I can come down here a bit further and I've got Remu. Now there's my Remu one with the grain going in the horizontal direction. And I can move the model around and examine what it will look like from different directions. There it is with the grain going horizontal, and now I can select Remu Vertical, and now there it is with the grain going vertical. Of course, the thing we really want to know is what it'll look like when we machine it out of pizza. Mmm, pizza. Well, there you are, I wanted to know more. Well, I've got to say, that, um, that looks good enough to eat. I reckon it might catch on. Bedside table lamps with bases made of pizza. Anyway, I've got my pizza here. I'm going to take it out of the workshop. It's gone. Oh, well. Maybe next time. Well, that about rounds it up for this episode. I hope you've enjoyed it. Maybe learned something new. Maybe you can now... Get your own stock for your projects into your version of Aspire or VCAR Pro. In the meantime, all that remains for me to do is to thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Check out my website, uh, www.cncnuts.com. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have uh, an investigation to do. Oi! Who ate my pizza?